Hello and welcome to a short video review of the Ultra HD Blu-ray release of the film The Fast and the Furious 8, or as it's known in the US, The Fate of the Furious. Now this disc has already come out in the US, it doesn't come out in the UK until October, so this is kind of an advanced review for those of you who are thinking of buying the UK disc. The film itself is utterly ridiculous, but ridiculously entertaining. It stars all the usual crew, including Vin Diesel, The Rock, and includes Jason Statham, and it's action-packed, over the top, and, and just silly from beginning to end, but, but you really will enjoy it, particularly if you're a fan of the series. Um, it's one of those strange series that just keep getting better and better, and also more and more successful as it goes on, which is pretty unusual in the film world. Now, in terms of the disc, this is uh, one of the first Dolby Vision releases, and it is absolutely spectacular in terms of its visual presentation. Uh, it uses Dolby Vision, although if you don't have a Dolby Vision player uh, or Dolby Vision display, you'll still get the HDR10 base layer, but um, the inclusion of Dolby Vision basically means that you get dynamic metadata. So the image is being uh, optimized from scene to scene rather than having one set of metadata for the entire film. And the results are spectacular. It looks absolutely brilliant, although it still looks fantastic also in HDR10, I have to say. Having watched it in both versions, I can say that there's very little difference, but there are subtle improvements using the Dolby Vision version. Um, so you get the incredibly wide color gamut, you get the, the dynamic range with the deep blacks, a lovely shadow detail and lovely peak highlights. And also you get the lovely uh, 4K image. Although this is actually a 2K DI, so it's being upscaled to 4K, but there's still a, a slight uptick in detail. The film is presented in its theatrical aspect ratio of 2.4 to one. And uh, in terms of its audio, it uses DTS-X. So you get an immersive audio experience. And of course, as you'd imagine with this kind of film, the soundtrack is massively amped up and there's loads of overhead effects. Those are surround effects, masses of bass. I mean, you've got cars being chased on ice by a submarine. So you can imagine the kind of film we're talking about here and, and the kind of sound design you're gonna get. It really is incredibly immersive and, and very over the top. Everything's dialed up to 11. The whole film's dialed up to 11 from the picture to the sound. But I mean, if you like that kind of thing, it is absolutely fantastic. I mean, if you're looking for a demo disc to impress your friends, then certainly Fast and the Furious is going to be one of them with a fantastic picture, amazing sound. It really is flawless. Now, in terms of extras, there are some interesting extras on the disc. There's a commentary track from the director. There are um, some deleted scenes. There are extended fight sequences. But very annoyingly, the disc comes with a code so you can watch an extended version of the film via download, but that extended version isn't on the disc, either on the Ultra HD Blu-ray or the accompanying Blu-ray. And that really is a worrying trend, something that I find quite annoying. Previous releases of um, Fast and Furious films have had extended versions of the movie and they've been on the disc via seamless branching. Why this wasn't included this time, I don't know, but that is a small niggle of otherwise what is very much an impressive uh, Ultra HD Blu-ray release. If you've enjoyed this video, then please like and subscribe. And don't forget, you can find more news, articles, podcasts, reviews, and videos like this at avforums.com, Europe's largest home entertainment community. Thanks for watching.